I was never the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. But I will work, and I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors sleep. I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed. I will be up getting after it, and I recommend that you do the same. People always say, you got to love the work. You got to love what you do. You don't have to love what you do. You got to be addicted to what you do. You got to be addicted to winning. You cannot work short hours. You got to work long hours. You got to work smarter and you got to work fucking harder. It's the work that you put in, the time and effort, the dedication, the hours that nobody else saw here, the sacrifices. You have to be disciplined. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted to the result. At the end of the day, the person that will surrender is the person that didn't work as hard as the other person. You got to work harder than the other person. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, it's, it's, I can't do no more reps, you say, like, yeah, you got to do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, he might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his all. If you want to be great, you want to be the baddest motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody. Because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there, that's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. You got to eat it. You got to drink it. You got to sleep it. Like it has to consume who you are. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're going to be the apex, you got to be it, not talk about it. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that. You do that. And people know it. You got to be it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you. That when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you. And from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word. It ought to illuminate from you. You've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. The stronger your mindset is, the greater your skill set is going to be. Michael and Kobe weren't the greatest athletes, but their mindset is what separates those individuals. Separate yourself. You playing against other teams and you doing exactly what they're doing. Separate yourself. Stop doing what they're doing. If you stop doing what they're doing, you're going to be a champion. Stop following. No more following. No more doing what everybody else is doing. Set the dog on standards. It's time for y'all to set the standard. We can't be complacent and we can't take our foot off the enemy's throat. We are going to be relentless. We are not going to give him the chance to regroup. He will not get the chance to recover. We are not going to stop until there is nothing left to pursue. You've got to do more. You've got to become valuable. You've got to understand that what you get paid to do is the minimum. And everything on top of that is your investment in your future. Get out of bed, come here in the morning. Go going for it. I'll sleep it. Put yourself in the opportunity to get that break. The more sh you throw against the wall, something will eventually stick. It doesn't stick three minutes about it. The first step into making a dream a reality is waking the f up.